European stock markets have declined markedly. But what was the cause? It's not what most people think. A fact that goes unmentioned in the financial markets is that the German DAX index is a total return index. This means that it takes corporate dividends into account when calculating the index value. However, this differs from all other major indices which don't include dividends and are purely price-based. From a technical analysis point of view, a price-based index is a pure measurement of crowd psychology. So, in this regard, it is helpful to look at a price-based index for Germany. This chart shows the Dow Jones Germany stock index, which is price-based. The European short-term update started showing this chart last year when we included a wave count suggesting that a five-wave advance was complete. We also noticed that old resistance had started to act as support, and we noted this zone as being a crucial pivot point. On the 26th of January, we stated that the index has now broken down below the pivotal zone of old resistance and support, which is a clue that a significant decline might be underway. On the 9th of February, the European short-term update printed that not only has the zone of previous resistance and support been broken, but a head and shoulders top pattern is also evident. Then, on the 23rd of February, we stated, Note the kiss goodbye, a videsen, of the neckline of the proposed head and shoulders top pattern, concluding that the German stock market remained bearish in the short term. Now, all of this occurred before the Putin regime invaded Ukraine. Yet conventional analysts will state that the invasion was the cause of the decline in the German stock market. The chart analysis, however, enabled us to stay well ahead of events. This is a great example of combining Elliott Wave with other technical analysis techniques. Doing so can help you keep in front of the herd. Stay tuned to the European Short Term Update.